662 and 414 has a linear combination of those numbers using the Euclidean algorithm. So it's the Euclidean algorithm I'm using in the background here. So Euclidean algorithm, 662 is equal to one copy of 414 plus, let's see how much is left over, that would be 248. Okay, next stage, 414 is equal to one copy of 248 plus left over 166. Then 248 is equal to one copy of 166 with a leftover of 82. And then 166, finally it's not a 1, eh? <laughs> it's a 2 times 82, which would be 164, so 2 remainder. Oh, 2 remainder, that's awesome. So now we're at 82 would be equal to 41 times 2. Okay. So since we've ended now, that means that this right here is my GCD. That is my GCD. So in order to assist me now in writing them as a, in its own form, I'm going to have 2 equals, let's see what does 2 equal? 2 equals 1 times 166 plus negative 2 times 82. This one right here is going to say that 82 is equal to 1 times 248 plus negative 1 times 166. This one up here is going to say that 166 is equal to 1 times 414 add a negative 1 times 248 and then this one up here when I isolate for 248 that's going to yield the 248 is equal to 1 copy of 662 plus negative 1 copies of 414 Yay, so now I have all the pieces I need to be able to write this together. So now let's go down that path and try to get this final answer. So going down that path, let's keep all this grouped. And we'll start off and we'll say that 2 is equal to 1 times 166 plus negative 2 times 82. Right? And that's from this bottom one right here. That's our starting off in red. Now I'm going to take that 82 and I'm going to replace it with its green quantity. So it starts off with 1 times 166 plus negative 2 times its green 82, which is 1 copy of 248 plus negative 1 copies, negative 1 copies of 166. All right? So after distributing and collecting like terms here, it looks like we would end up getting, let's see, negative 2 times 1 would give me negative 2 copies of 248. And then with the negative 2 and the negative 1, that would be 2 plus the 1 copy over here would leave me with 3 copies of 166. So now what can I do? Well, now I can replace the 166 with its blue version. So negative 2 times 248 plus 3 times the blue for the 166, which is 1 copy of 414 plus negative 1 copies of 248. Okay, so again, distributing and collecting like terms, I'm going to warp this up to the top now. Hopefully I'll have enough space for that last one. So it looks like I'll have three copies of 414, and then we're going to have negative 3 from the distributive property plus minus 2 there, so plus a negative 5 times the 248. And now I have my last spot that I need to plug in. So my last spot is going to be plugging in that quantity. So I'm not going to have a prayer of being able to fit it down there, am I? So let's put it way down at the bottom down here. 
So I have 3 times 414 plus negative 5 times 248, but 248 is given by an orange quantity of 1 times 662 plus negative 1 times 414. So therefore, we're now at a stage where we can say, let's see, we've got negative 5 times 1, so we'd have negative 5 copies of 662. Then we have negative 5 and negative 1 distributed for 5, but that's added to the 3 in addition that I had before. So that would be 8 copies of 414. So that would be the final answer to this problem, is that now we have taken the Euclidean algorithm and we have written the GCD of 662 and 414, which happened to be 2, as a linear combination of 662 and 414. It's equal to negative 5 copies of 662 plus 8 copies of 414.